Now to a developing story. Two children are in the hospital tonight after a violent attack in Inkster. It happened this morning at a home on Grandview between Middle Belt and Henry Ruff Road. Megan Woods joins us live. And Megan, you've got more on the investigation tonight. Yeah, this is still a very fluid situation. You can see behind me, police are still here. Crime scene tape is still up. Inkster police tell us they're still trying to figure out the connection between the woman that was arrested and the two children who are now in critical condition. Uh, it's a little boy and little girl. And again, they are in the hospital in critical condition. There's no question in my mind that, that these two children would not be here right now if it weren't for the actions of the Inkster police officers that arrived here this morning. Inkster Assistant Police Chief Bill Ratliff says around 7.30 this morning, someone called 911 for a well-being check on two kids at this home. Officers knocked on the door, no answer, walked around the house and heard what sounded like a child crying. They did that. They uh, kicked the door in and went in for century and... Uh, discovered an adult female inside. Uh, a struggle ensued with the officers and the female. Uh, she was taken into custody. Nicole Franklin lives just a few doors down and saw her get taken away. She had her shirt off, um, her pants half, halfway down, she had blood on her stomach, and she was in handcuffs. Police say there were two toddler age kids. Both had severe injuries to their neck and throat. The little boy wasn't breathing, but the officers were able to do CPR and get him breathing again. Neighbors say it's all disturbing. To harm a child, I just would never know what would go through a person's mind or do something like that. Police tell us one of those children was just airlifted to Children's Hospital in Detroit, and they're still trying to figure out the why behind all of this. We'll keep you updated with the latest live in Inkster. I'm Megan Woods, Local 4.